if you draw this graph, um, I'm just going to get rid of my old line and draw y equals x squared and I'm just going to change the axis ratio so use the move tool click on the back um, click on the white space right click on it and choose x to y axis 1 to let's say 50 um, now if you have a look at this graph uh, the slope of the line is not the same right so let's I'll show you what I mean so let's create two points um, let's make when x is equal to 5 uh, y is equal to 25 so let that be our first point I'm just gonna move when x is 5, y is 25. Bit hard to get to that. Oops. So when x is equal to 5, y is equal to 25. Okay, finally, 24.98, that's ridiculous. When x is equal to 5, y is 25. So that's our first point. And if we draw a second point, let's say when x is equal to 10, and y is equal to... Um, Let me move my graph again. When x is equal to 10, y is equal to 100. Um, bit hard to move the points. When x is equal to 10, y is equal to 100. Now, these two points on this line, if we use that as our x2 y2 and x1 y1 so we're gonna select two points so x1 is 5 y1 is 25 that's our first point x2 is uh, what do we say 10 y2 is a hundred the gradient is equal to uh, y2 over minus y1 over x2 minus x1 which is um, 100 minus 25 over 10 minus 5 which is 75 over 5 which is um, what's that uh, 15 okay so what does that mean? Um, so what I'm trying to show you guys is that if you pick another two points on this line, I'm not going to bother going back to GeoGebra uh, for this section. So let's say if I pick another two points, let's say I want to try x is equal to 7. What is y equal? 49 because the equation is y equals x squared. Now, the second point I'm going to try, um, uh, let's say I'm going to try x2 is equal to, uh, let's say, 15, and y2 is equal to 225. The gradient is equal to um, 225, uh, 225 minus 49 over 15 minus 7. Uh, 
So I'll just use the calculator for this. And the answer is 22. So this wouldn't happen with a straight line graph, right? Because it's a parabola. If you pick two different points, sorry, two sets of different points, it's going to give you a different gradient. Now, another way of showing you is that in the um, in GeoGebra, if we join up the straight line with join up the two points with a straight line from A to B, and I'm just going to display the equation of the line in y equals mx plus c form, um, the straight line is going to have a different slope if we drag the different points to another location. So, for example, if I drag point A to 7, I'm just going to make it approximately 7, and I drag point B to uh, 15 for X, uh, so obviously the line has just changed in slope. The slope of the line from point A to point B is different. Alright, so basically with a quadratic equation, um, so far with our knowledge, uh, we can what we can find is what we call it as the average rate of change between two points right so so far that's what we can do right because the rate of change of this equation y equals x squared is going to be different depending on which two points you choose so if the question says find the rate of change find the average rate of change for the equation uh, y equals x squared between x equals 5 and x equals 10 then what you can do is you can say the rate of change equals change in y over change in x which is uh, 75 over 5 which is 15 so we've done all the work already up here alright so hopefully you guys understand a little bit about rate of change um, the most important concept you guys need to understand is uh, the rate of change of a straight line is the same no matter which two points you pick and the rate of change for a line that is not straight for example a quadratic the rate of change is going to depend on which two points you pick to find the rate of change which is also the same thing as the gradient okay I hope that lesson wasn't too long for you and see you again next time